This Maptitude tutorial shows you how to create a heat map using Maptitude density grids. A density grid transforms the points in a point layer into a regular grid. This makes it easier to identify customer concentrations, crime hotspots, or disease outbreaks. In addition, the grid can be weighted to a value you choose. First, make the point layer you want to analyze the working layer by choosing it from the drop-down list on the standard toolbar, or by right-clicking on it in the Display Manager and choosing Make Working Layer. Click this button, or choose Tools, Analysis, Density Heat Layer. Choose to use all the features, the visible features on the map, or a selection set. You can also choose a weighting field. I have fields that contain the number of rooms in each hotel, so I'm going to weight my density grid by that. Maptitude chooses a radius to use around the layer and a cell width appropriate for the map scale. In general, you can ignore these settings, but if you would like the density analysis to extend farther from the points in your layer, you can increase the radius value. And if you want to create a higher resolution density grid, you can make the cell width smaller. Also, if you check the theme box, the density grid will automatically display with a color theme illustrating the results. Enter a name for the new density layer and click Save. Now I'll zoom in on Paris. and hide the hotel layer, and you can see exactly which neighborhoods contain the greatest density of hotel rooms. And that wraps up this tutorial on creating density grids.